So the last video about enlargement, a type of transformation, uh, I've showed you how to enlarge with a positive um, scale factor of more than one. I showed you with a scale factor of, let's say, between zero and one, so a decimal or a fraction. And I've showed you how to enlarge a figure with a negative scale factor. But now the following question, I have a figure and after the enlargement, it's gonna look like that. The question now is, what is the center of enlargement? And what is the scale factor? Okay, everybody can do this, trust me. Uh, let's have a look at the points now. Uh, which ones correspond? Well, this one corresponds with that one, okay? What am I going to do? Very simply, I'm going to connect them with a nice, beautiful, accurate line. There we go. Somewhere on this line, my center of enlargement will be. Now, where is it going to be? I have no idea. So I'm gonna do that for another pair of points that correspond and there we go. Beautiful, long, accurate line. Now you're gonna use a sharp pencil. Yeah, not a thick one. Uh, there is my center of enlargement. Let's have a look just to make sure if that's right. I'm gonna do that for pair number three and they all go through the same points because they all have the same center of rotation. You see that? Over there, beautiful. That's gonna be your center of rotation. Okay, finally, uh, yeah, what is the scale factor? Now, once I've found the center of rotation, that is not the most difficult question. Let's have a look at this point, yeah. Uh, it used to be two units away from my center of rotation. Now it is four units away, so that is a scale factor of two. Yeah, twice as far. Is that absolutely right? Let's have a, yeah, I'll, because I always check my work. Uh, this one used to be one, two, three, four long, and then now then it should be eight long, agree? Let's have a look, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight long, fantastic. Skill factor of two, there's my center. Those were enlargements, type of transformation, fantastic. All right, now I have uh, done all the transformations with you now uh, and I showed you that a transformation is an object that changes position and shape or shape I should perhaps say we've done reflections rotations translations and now we have finished enlargements but now in the next videos I'm going to show you yeah what happens if we have a combination of these transformations okay what happens if I have a rotation and then a reflection for instance okay and I'm also going to show you how we do transformations using matrices okay and yeah almost a guarantee you're gonna get a question about that yeah transformations and matrices okay so I'm gonna see you at the next videos and um, see you later